so this is a quick one. There's a uh, an add-on that you can turn on if you go to preferences. This is called scatter objects. And so how do you use it? Um, you know, if you want to distribute objects on a surface, you could do it with geometry nodes, or you could use a, a particle system. And this is another way that kind of gives you some uh, interesting control over it. And I'll show you the details of that later. So I add a plane here, and I'm going to make this the ground. So I'm going to add a displacement modifier to it. And for the texture, I'm just going to choose cloud. There goes the clouds texture, and you need to give it a little geometry for this, so I'm going in and adding some subdivisions. Here I added 100. And then you just adjust the size of it, you know, all the parameters of it to give it something that kind of looks interesting, and uh, kind of adjust the strength till you get something that you like. And you could also go into sculpt mode and do this kind of manually if you wanted to. But I'm just going to use the cloud texture to do this displacement. So I had another video out there for mesh extra objects and under that you can turn on uh, this thing called the rock generator. And it's part of the Mesh Extra Objects um, add-on. So if you go to it, you have some basic controls. And if you go to my other video, you can see some of the details there. And, but I'm just going to keep it real simple here and increase the number of rocks to three. So I'm going to take these and add it to a collection called Rocks. And I'm going to turn the plane back on and move these off to the side. Now one way you could do this is with the uh, particle system. And so here you can change the end frame to one and then adjust the number and you'll get some scattered through the surface. And here is uh, it's showing just the halo object. But if you go to render, you can change it from halo to object, and then go ahead and choose your object. You could also choose a uh, collection, and since we have a collection, I'll go ahead and do that. And then you can see you get some scattered over the surface. You could get fancy and uh, use some weight painting on the panel in order to scatter them only to certain uh, areas. But here, if you choose all the rocks and then you shift click the plane and you have the uh, scatter objects add-on active, you can then take your mouse and drag it across the plane. And you get these little cube objects. And if you go to the tools menu over here, you see you have some adjustments, the density, radius, actually uh, changes how far from the line that you've drawn the objects are scattered. And then you can adjust the scale and then the randomness of the scale. And then also the rotation. That gives you some variation of rotation off the uh, compared to the normal of where the object is. And then the offset adjusts how close to the plane you are. And then the seed is just a random seed, and you can adjust that until you get something that you like. So then once you get something you like, all I have to do is hit enter. And uh, I don't know if it's just my keyboard or it might be how they have it set up. Uh, the enter on the numpad for me doesn't work. So 
I have to make sure to click the enter on the on the other um, portion of the keyboard. And you, you can actually draw multiple lines if you want multiple. Now it adds these objects to the center and all you have to do is just go ahead and hide those. And then you can see you have some objects scattered around the scene. Now I'm going to zoom in here and show you if you're doing things that are um, like say you had blades of grass or something like that. I'm, I wanted to show you some of the objects that it creates. If you zoom in here you see this little triangle. Sometimes you'll have to clean those up at the base of the object like I was doing it once with little blades of grass and I had these little triangles in it and all you have to do is go over to the menu here on the right And change this instancing off. So then I did a really quick um, shader for this. Now if you hit um, Control Shift T, it's going to allow you to uh, read in multiple um, images for your texture. So if you have uh, roughness and you have the diffuse and you have uh, some displacement you can read all those in at the same time and that's what I did here so I went to Polyhaven and got a kind of rock texture for the rocks and then I got a ground texture for the ground and then I changed it to uh, use a dynamic sky to see what that looked like and I didn't like it too much so I went over and uh, used the forest uh, HDRI and I thought that looked pretty good So there you have it, that's the uh, scatter objects uh, add-on, and you can just turn that off under preferences and uh, uh, have some fun with it. It gives you a lot of nice control, and you can do it multiple times on the same surface and get like uh, rocks of uh, various sizes or whatever you're scattering. It could be mushrooms, it could be leaves, um, blades of grass, whatever. Um, so if you like the video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.